I started working with highly suicidal people. As it turned out, the people met criteria for borderline personality disorder, but A, I had never heard of borderline personality disorder, and B, I didn't know what it was. Even if you told me the name, I wouldn't have known. So that was the beginning of the whole thing. I had no idea what I was doing, except that I was studying suicide. What happened was standard behavior therapy of the 1970s and early 1980 blew up. And the main reason it did is because what it requires for it to work is for a person to come in and you be able to say, okay, here's the problem and here's what we'll do to change it. And for the person to say, okay, I'll try that. But the people I was dealing with immediately said, you're saying I'm the problem. And so they were so sensitive to any invalidation or statement that they were the problem that the treatment blew up. And they would either get angry at me, hide behind a chair, storm out, quit therapy, yell and scream, cry, or say they're going to kill themselves. So it didn't take me too long to figure out this was not going to work out. So I thought, OK, we're going to switch to a more acceptance-based treatment. So I'm going to validate and be very accepting. So I tried that. That blew up also. Because then the patient said, you mean you're not going to help me? You're just going to listen to me? Most of the patients I treat have already been through a whole lot of therapy where you talk, get listened to, and understood. The problem is talking, being listened to, and being understood doesn't necessarily make anything change. So then they got really upset with me because it wasn't helping them change. So that's when I realized that I had to pull together a major emphasis on change with a technology of acceptance. So I had a technology of change, now I needed a technology of acceptance. The technology of acceptance primarily was validation. So it's behavior therapy with a huge amount of validation. So problem solving, validation are the core components of the treatment. 